On this episode of the Ritual Misery Podcast, Kent went to Vegas and saw signs and cars. And Amos edited some podcast and screwed around with WordPress, apparently. Yeah, and is Star Wars Episode Nine any closer to coming out? Um, maybe, but um, I heard Apple's got some new stuff going on. Yeah, we'll find out. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 208 for Thursday, the 28th of March, 2019. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent, and you are our audience, and we appreciate you. Heck yes, man. It's Thursday night. It's Ritual Misery. I'm happy to be here. How are you, Amos, after this two weeks without me? Um, Has it been that long? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It was two weeks ago that I was last on this show, so I mean... Uh, that could be, yeah, I, I, I guess. Uh, I mean, uh, according to chat, I fired you and hired Rich Straffolino in your place, so... Um, <laughs> Just a cool dude, man. I'm glad he was able to fill in last week. Yeah, those, it was a lot of fun, and we actually had a lot of fun chatting about it afterwards uh, in, in our in our uh, company Slack, and uh, yeah, good times. Um, hey, dude, so you uh, you were gone. You went to Vegas. Tell us about that. I did, yeah. I had to go on a work trip. Uh, I was there for, well, shy of a week. It was probably like four days, four-ish days. Uh, Vegas is still Vegas. Four-ish, four-ish days? What? Yeah, I mean, not much has changed, you know? It's still traffic hell. Um, Yeah. yeah. For for those who don't know, know, the uninitiated, you used to live in Vegas. Well, on the outskirts of Vegas. Yeah, and... uh, I don't know. I mean, it's like saying you live in there. LA, but you actually li- live in Valencia, right? Like it's, it's yeah. But I actually LA. lived in Las Vegas. Like my my address was Las Vegas, Nevada. It uh, was not like North Las Vegas or Henderson or Red Rock or any of that. It was yeah. Las Vegas. Uh, but no, no, no. It was it was good to see old friends. Um, the Raiders Stadium is coming along quite nicely. <laughs> they have put a lot of work into that thing since the last time I was there. It's so uh, stupid. Just over a year ago. Um, I don't know. Good for Vegas, I guess. Two pro teams. Uh, yeah. And a yeah. racetrack. When, a yeah, really, well, yeah, yeah. They, really, they've had really... the racetrack for a long time. Right, but uh, it's like the most boring racetrack ever. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an oval in the middle and, of the desert. And the way NASCAR had their schedule for a while there, it was like they'd go to Daytona to start the season off, and then they'd go to California, and then they'd go to an identical track in Vegas. <laughs> Oh man! Like when when they when they did the the Vegas track, and that was officially the end of my fanhood of NASCAR. Like, I can't. There's already like four of these tracks, uh, cookie cutter tracks in the circuit, and they're going to them twice a year. And yeah, this, this yeah. is boring. So, whatever. Yeah, but Vegas has been wanting a, a professional team for a long time. That was like what was like the talk of the town the whole time I lived there. That was about a decade ago, decade yeah. or so ago, I guess when I left, and um, they've since gotten a hockey team and uh, they're about to have uh, an NFL team. So um, I go Vegas, I guess, man. So Vegas being Vegas, right. <laughs> saw a sign. It was yeah. right next to my hotel. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. I think I sent you a picture that you could show our video uh, viewers. If they're over at twitch.tv slash ritual misery or the ritual misery channel over let's, on YouTube, they'll be able to see this. Let's see if it works. <sighs> it, it, so nope, it didn't work. <laughs> There we so, go. <laughs> the Little Darlings is a a strip club in Las Vegas, and uh, their sign, their new billboard says "Now Hiring Class of 2018." I was equal parts amused and disgusted by this sign. <laughs> oh my gosh, man! Um, um, that's I just gotta say that's classic Vegas for you right there. No, nothing I've seen in a long time has said Vegas more than this does. Yeah. And this was a, like less than a block away from my hotel. So I got to see it every day on the way back from the work event. Um, <laughs> yeah, that it's a thing. And um, I, I should have actually taken a screen cap and, and posted it of the reactions that I got uh, because I texted that sign, uh, the picture of that sign to you Mm -hmm. and about eight other people at the same time. Mm -hmm. And the reactions that I got were varied. I got ha ha. I got LOL. I got the, the puke emoji. I got, Oh my, or, uh, OMFG Vegas. 
Uh, it was like, it was the spectrum. <laughs> it was, it was quite entertaining. Um, but so other than that, I did see something that, that, uh, caught my attention. I saw an automated car, a self-driving car in the wild for the first time. Ah, and that would be this picture. How do I do it? Oh, there, right here. <laughs> yeah, right there. So yeah, self-driving vehicle. It has signs all over it saying that it's a self-driving vehicle. The the license plate is a special, uh, special edition license plate, I guess that that tells you it's self-driving. Um, I don't know what was going. I don't know if this was a like a, a, a lift or what was going on because I've I've heard that Uber and Lyft are experimenting with self-driving cars. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, just... This is a BMW 540i. Yep. Um, yeah, it's, it's got all the it, all the trimmings of a self-driving vehicle. It's got little cameras uh, along the it, the bottom fascia. Uh, and it it kept up with traffic. It drove nice. It used turn signals. It was. Um, that's how you know. Day. That's how you know it's a self-driving car. Use turn signals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that human drivers don't do that all that often in Vegas. So. No, you want to you want to fuck some people up in Hawaii? Use a turn signal. They won't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. Whoa! What's he doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh man. So so that was Vegas for me. I was only there a few days, so not too many adventures. Uh, what did you get up to over the last week? Man, I just been working. I've been uh, putting podcasts out there and uh, got a nice little. Uh, like nice little write up going into the next episode or next issue of all the other podcasts, um, Infinite Gains little newsletter, uh, to to give a lot of detail about what happened on last Friday. So that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, dude, it, it's it's been fun. I've been meeting clients. Uh, Jenny's got me into the actual operation side of things uh, on conference calls with people and things like that. It's a lot of fun. And one of the podcasts I'm producing right well editing right now and, and kind of helping produce and going to slide over into more of a, a functional producer role is one mm-hmm. called the world needs a witch and cool. it's just amazing it's these two chicks one's a a out of the broom closet witch and the other one's a still discovering herself in the broom closet witch and they talk to all kinds of women uh, about uh, intuition and spiritual feelings and all that kind of stuff. It's great. It's really fun. So, so out of the out of the broom closet is that a, is that common vernacular for um, someone who's like um, so like if you're in the broom closet does that mean that you are hiding the fact like probably from the your family that you're a witch yes or uh, I see so yeah. it's exactly what it sounds like it, yeah it's it, whatever in whatever. Uh, 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 thoughts you had about it that's exactly what it is yes mm. gotcha so okay um and that's just one of one of several that i've been working on and it's it's been a lot of fun i'm still learning audition like i thought i knew pretty good how to do audition and each time i edit another podcast i've got to learn another trick because there's some sound or some background noise or something that i just didn't have prior experience with so still learning mm. still growing and man it's a lot of fun i dig it a lot Right on, man. Right on. And hey, right now, uh, the, the Air Force is still paying me to do this internship, so I'm busting my ass, and the Air Force is still paying me pretty well, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Dude, that's a, you got a hell of a deal, man. That is uh, that is awesome. Yeah. I would have done that in a heartbeat if I knew such a program existed. Yeah. Uh, man, that's 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 really cool. For, for military members out there that are looking to get out of the military, uh, hit Amos up and uh, yeah. find out about this program. It, Reach out to me on Twitter, at Ethan Kane, E-T-H-A-N-C-A-I-N-E, and I'll give you all the details. It's yeah, really awesome. it's probably the the coolest program I've ever uh, seen in the military. It's pretty great. Yeah. And it's open for everybody, not just retirees. It's open for everyone um, honorably discharging from the military. Yeah, pretty awesome. Man, so it's March. Mm-hmm. December's a long way off, but I'm already getting excited about Star Wars Episode Nine. Yeah. <sighs> so is everybody else? <laughs> apparently, apparently, there was so a couple days ago, or was it yesterday? Actually, I think it was yesterday. It was like super recent. A poster leaked, supposedly from Lucasfilm. It looks legit, uh, but then news came out later that this isn't actually what the movie poster is going to look like, but is supposed to be just for internal use, like circulation amongst the employees at Lucasfilm. And then uh, something else came out and said that this was for promotional stuff for like, you know, like for toy lines and stuff like that, not for the movie. And then there's conflicting stories. And Lucasfilm, of course, is not saying anything about it. 
So who knows what this thing is, man? But it's got some interesting things of, 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 of about this poster, right? So it's okay. your standard poster, mm-hmm. what you would expect of a Star Wars poster, right? It's got the main characters. Well, well since you have a little more... building a lightsaber. You, you have a little more insight, so let me explain the po- poster to the audio listeners. Oh, okay. Go. Uh, you've got um, uh, Kylo <laughs> Ren. There, that's his name, Kylo Ren. Um, uh, uh, the lower th- third, lower half is Kylo Ren holding his, his uh, lightsaber with the little shits coming off the sides. Uh, mm-hmm. Kind of backhanded, almost like he's defending. Um, behind him, you've got some people in gray with some metal masks on their face. They look familiar, but maybe droids or something. I don't know. Uh, on the on on Kylo Ren's left, you've got um, what's his name? What's his name, dude? Uh, you talking about Poe Dameron? Yeah, Poe Dameron, uh, also known as doesn't make any difference to me. Uh, some <laughs> other per- looks like a chick in red with a black visor standing behind him. And then the top half is Ray, um, with uh, uh, some other creatures and Chewbacca's back there. She's also holding the lightsaber, um, almost an opposite direction. It's not perpendicular, but it's like the opposite downward direction of Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Um, and then you've got sp- several spacecraft in the back. Uh, the spacecraft on the top are all Alliance aircraft and or Rebel or or whatever the hell they're called now resistance there you go resistance aircraft uh, spacecraft and on the bottom it's all um uh, not empire what are they now um uh, the first order first order uh spacecraft which they really it's it's really a bunch of damn rebel and empire uh spacecraft yeah so, all right so the things that jump out to me because this this sounds like a standard star wars movie poster it right? really so it really it, is it pretty is. yeah so the things that stand out to me and i'm going to Say them in the order that, like, in in ascending order of how interesting they are to me. So I'll start with the fourth most interesting and move my way up. Okay. All right. So at the bottom there is a new type of stormtrooper. So that you see like a legion of stormtroopers, and right. uh, I think these are supposed to be like the elite troopers or something like that. This like red armor. Well, you uh, you don't know if it's red or if it's white with the red reflected from Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Uh, sure. I mean, we can speculate on that. Yeah. Uh, but it is a slightly different. Uh, design for the armor. So that's yeah, okay. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Uh, one of the TIE fighters that you see is a new type of TIE interceptor. It's got like triangular wings. That's kind of neat. Mm-hmm, it's a cool mm-hmm. ship design. You got to have a new TIE fighter in every movie, right? Um, above Kylo Ren's head, just in front of Ray, you see C3PO holding, and he's a, holding a bowcaster. A bowcaster, yeah. I noticed that, that was like the one thing that I noticed. It was like, Hmm, that's not quite yeah. right. What the hell? Like, it is, it what is, the hell's going on? He's not just holding a bowcaster. He's actually got the what? What do they call the the belts? The ammunition uh, belt, the bandolier, yeah, bandolier the, around him as well. So it's it looks intentional. Uh, yeah. What the hell is going on with that? Okay, that, yeah, and the, that's pretty interesting. The most interesting thing to me, the the figures that you kind of recognize but don't but can't place them. That's the Knights of Ren. This is uh, the. Like dark side user warriors that Kylo Ren is the leader of. They're mentioned by Supreme Leader Snoke in mm-hmm. Episode Seven, and you see them briefly in a flashback scene, and they just stand there in the rain, looking like badasses. Mm. And then, uh, and then you don't um, you don't hear from them again. They're not mentioned at all in Episode Eight. So everybody kind of speculated that well, shit. That, looked like a cool idea and they just dropped it well it looks like they're back and we're gonna get some knights of ren action and i am super stoked this shit better be real i hope this is not <laughs> a fake poster yeah the, the other thing that i noticed uh so you got two different styles of x-wing you got kind of the newish one with two colors and you got the older one that kind of looks like with uh just the the white or gray whatever mm. um you've got a a, a y-wing bomber Mm-hmm. Which we haven't seen one of those in quite a while. I don't know if those were ever actually in any of the movies or not. Uh, the Y Wing Bombers? Yeah, I know they were in the books. Yeah, yeah they were definitely in. Uh, they were in the Death Star battle for sure. Okay, yeah, uh, yep, yep. gold gold group was uh, Y Wing fighters. And between the two, and now that I'm looking at it a little more closely, I don't it, maybe not, but it looks like a, almost an elongated A Wing. But that's just me. Um. Good. 
Possibly. Yeah, there's probably some some other new ship designs in there. There's also a new droid uh, next to BB-8 in the poster. Looks like a miniature BB-8 with a much bigger head. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) So I don't know, man. Either way, either way, even if this is fake, I am still super stoked for episode nine. Yeah. Um, Star Wars Celebration is is like less than two weeks away, I think. Mm. And so hopefully we're going to get like the actual poster, maybe a trailer, a teaser trailer would be nice. Yeah. Um, Uh, Type the film so we can stop calling it episode nine. We we, we missed two other things real quick. Mm -hmm. One is nowhere on here do you see uh, 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 Gwendolyn Christie's character. Uh, Right. Captain Phasma. Yeah. We don't see her anywhere. Yeah, there's there's definitely characters missing from here. Uh, you don't see uh, with General that, Hux. With you don't that, see Princess Leia. But with that number of uh, stormtroopers, you'd think you you might be able, might see her in there somewhere. Like she yeah, well, dead. she might be dead. So she died in the first one. <laughs> yeah, turns out she didn't die. Then she died in the second one. I'm gonna say it turns out she didn't die. <laughs> yes, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Just hedging uh, my bets. <laughs> and then um, we we forgot uh, the other dude. Uh, standing right next to C three PO, Finn. That'd be Finn. Yeah. So this, I mean, this poster really only proves to me that I need to rewatch episodes seven and eight. But uh, <laughs> that that will that will happen anyway. Um, yep. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. It, I'm I'm psyched. I think I, I conspiracy theory wise, since we just did that a couple weeks ago, um, I can't see something like this leaking out and not having some sort of intended purpose. And mm-hmm. it could be in my mind, well, let's leak something and then hear all the arguments and fussing that the internet does and then refine the ideas we had according to those comments. So I don't think mm-hmm. this is anything near what the poster will look like. I think this is just a draft that they kind of threw out there because it looks really, really shoddily done. I mean, the, the color palette isn't, isn't correct. It doesn't flow very well. It, it looks like an easy, um, an easy Photoshop so like if you look around Poe Dameron, you got like this strange glow around him that doesn't look like it belongs to anybody else. Like the uh, the lightsaber isn't reflecting on anything other than the stormtroopers down below, which you don't know if they're white or red. I, it just looks shoddily done. Like I don't think this is an official poster. This might be like an early draft, something somebody threw together. But I still think they put it out there and let's see what the what the audience says about it, and then we'll <laughs> we'll correct from there. Yeah, because we'll I mean, way, this, and. This is supposedly the end of the Skywalker saga, right? This is the, there shouldn't yeah. be any other Skywalker movies after this because the only one left alive is Leia, and the actress died. So, like, yeah. Well, I mean, we so Kylo is is a Skywalker. I mean, he's also a Solo, so I don't know. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so Leia is also a, a Organa Naberi. Well, yeah, so. that's, yeah. There you go. Um, I don't know. Uh, what do you think the possibilities that this is a legit poster are? Uh, man, I don't, I, I think it was produced by Lucasfilm. Uh, but whether or not this is going to be a no kidding movie poster, I, uh, I'd say it's 50, so, 50, man. So you're going with authentic, but not production. Yeah. That's, that's where I'm leaning. Okay. Yep. yep. Okay. So we're, we're lined up there. All right. That sounds good. Yep. Um, yeah, so speaking of movies, man, I watched Us mm-hmm. this weekend, uh, the new um, the new Jordan Peele mm-hmm. horror movie, the, mm-hmm. the guy that brought us Get Out. Yep, How, and uh, g- give me your one thumb review. Uh, thumbs up. Okay, that's all it's I need. Thumbs up. Uh, you saw Get Out, right? I did. I saw it in the theater yeah. twice, and then okay, I saw so it you, at home. So you enjoyed it? I did. I really I liked think, it. I think if you liked Get Out... You will like this one. It's not the same. It's not the same kind of scary. This one, I think, has more uh, like genuine terror in it where you just want to just grab your seat and just hope to God they survive whatever is happening on the screen. <laughs> like it's um, it's pretty it's pretty scary. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I don't want to say much more about it because I will get into spoiler territory. But um, I will just say if you like to get out, give us a shot. It's pretty good. Yeah, give us a shot. Wait, <laughs> you mean the movie? <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess I guess that would make more sense. Oh my gosh! But too bad, too bad we don't have us in the draft. 
Uh, well, there's it's too bad we don't have a lot of movies in the draft, so let's not go down that route. <laughs> let's see what uh, Big Voice J has to say about it, though. Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute, presented by DiamondClub.tv for the week of March 25th, 2019. I'm your host, Big Voice J. Pro tip, if you're being attacked by clowns, dispatch them quickly by going for the juggler. Let's go to the scoreboard. Team Zertra Misery, Bond Squad, Drunkage Gaming, and Game Night are all tied for last place. Still waiting for the first film. Team Movie Party's in second place thanks to a strong debut from us, bringing their total to $71.1 million. And in first place, thanks to Hotel Mumbai and Captain Marvel, it's team have a drink with $320.8 million. That's your Stream Team Movie Draft Minute. All totals are accurate as of March 27, 2019. Uh, yeah, man. We don't uh, have a movie out yet. No, we don't we, have it in the fight. And, and, I'm, and I'm still like... I, I'm conservative in my hopes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. We're, we're not winning. There's no chance we're winning i just hope to, to finish in the top three like that's the best i think we can hope for yeah uh, uh yeah but us man us cleaned up this weekend they have made over three times their production budget just in the oh. opening weekend and that that is so good dude yep 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 congratulations to that whole team yeah uh, um what what, what 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 what's our first movie? We don't have a movie until It's a while, man. May seventeenth, uh, the dog's journey. <laughs> we're, we're gonna start strong even. We're opening with a dog's journey. If you guys want to follow along with the standings of this, head over to draft.diamondclub.tv slash stream team. Uh, that will give you all of the the standings, uh, who's earned uh, how much money. Uh, what's coming up next? It's a uh, it's a good thing to follow. Yeah. Uh, speaking of following, man, uh, at Stream Team Draft on Twitter. Yeah, definitely. Plus at updates there as well. Yep. Hey, um, now would be a good time for us to pimp our patron. Our our like our one pa- is that all we have? No, no, no. no. I, was, I was I was combining some letters. Patron. Oh. Oh. So Patreon. Right. Um, it's better yeah, than Patreon. Patreon.com slash Ritual Misery. In fact. Yeah. Uh, that's where you can go to uh, show us that you give a fuck by giving us a buck. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if you like what we're doing, uh, show us your appreciation with in in the form of money, uh, and we'll we'll be sure to give you stuff too. We'll give you early uncut editions of the the podcast, the video version, and the the uh, audio version. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's exclusive interviews in there. Mm-hmm. There's uh, man, there's a treasure box this, this treasure box in there. It's got some like really old stuff from uh, me and Amos. They're kind of Easter eggy. Uh, get in there and, and find those for yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else have we got going on there for patrons, Amos? Um, I'm going to start streaming to the Discord. We have a lot of pre-show banter uh, that doesn't get, get to Twitch and kind of just gets dropped off for, uh, into nowhere. And I figured, you know what? Our patrons deserve to hear some of that horse shittery. So I'm going to start, once I get that figured out, uh, our Discord, which I'm sure you know the, the link to, right? No? Neither do I. Um <laughs> Um, bit.ly slash RMP discord. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so hop on in there. If you're a patron and you will have access to that, um, and you'll, you'll get a little more in a little, uh, little different ways and we'll see you there. Hell yeah, man. Uh, patreon.com slash ritual misery. All right. I think it's time for this now. Can I please have your attention? In the last 30 minutes, kids done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very... Excited. Kids games. Play with him. I actually put this together last night. <laughs> Ooh, big <laughs> prepper. 30 hours and 30 minutes. Like that was. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, man. So this week's game is called Apples and Oranges. Any okay. guesses what this game is about? Um, I'm going to say fruits. It's, it, it's about, I know this is going to blow you away. It's about apples and oranges. So I was right. Okay, good. So you have to, you have to tell me. I'm going to read you a statement, and you're going to tell me if it's about apples or oranges. Okay. All right. All right. I see where you're going with this. I, okay. I think I'm up to the challenge. Lay it on me there. All right, man. Your first statement. The science of growing this fruit is called pomology. Is that about Ooh, apples or oranges? Pomology, huh? 
I'm going to go oranges. It's totally apples. Yeah. It sounds like pomegranates. Pomology. Yeah. That's kind of what uh, I figured that was too obvious, so I went the other way. <laughs> Americans eat more of this per capita. Apples or oranges? Now, does this include juices and such, or is this just the fruit itself? Eat. Apples. You say apples. Indeed. Indeed. It is so much easier to eat an apple than it is an orange. Eating an orange is kind of a process. You can just grab an apple and eat it while you're walking down the sidewalk. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can do that with an orange. It's just not as tasty. (laughs) If you're you're somebody that does that, like, you're a weirdo. Sorry. All right. uh, Let me ask you this real quick since we're going through these uh, apples versus oranges. Apple butter or orange marmalade? Apple butter. Yeah? I will... I'm likely to kill somebody for some apple butter. <laughs> now, don't don't get me wrong. I love me some orange marmalade, but yeah, apple butter is just it's next level shit. It's it's one one of those things that me and you are on other sides of, sides of. I yep. I really love apple butter, but it to me it's like okay, well I've had one biscuit with some apple butter. Uh, bring that marmalade over here. <laughs> yeah, it seems more like a dessert, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, okay I'm done with that. That's that was good. That was tasty. I'm ready for the good stuff. So, yeah, yeah, it's just me. All right. So your next one, this one is a type of berry. A type of berry. Berry. Apples, apples. or oranges? Which one? Apples. That would be oranges. Damn. I don't, I don't know there what are, defines a berry, so. There are, oh, I know, I don't either. I meant to look it up after I put the question in there. And I <laughs> see, so you'd be all smart, like, duh, it's, it's blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, man, because of the, the number of the, it's, yeah. It, it, uh-huh. it has right. to do with the vine and the, the, the flowers and the, the uh, anyway. Yep. Like, so are, there are, are over 3,500 varieties of this worldwide. I'm going to go with apples. He's like... There's like 40 varieties at the commissary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just keep coming up with new ones, man. Yeah. Like mixing them, like mixed breed with like grapes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, gr- graples. Those Gra- are grapples. Grapple, grapples. Whatever. Like Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, who's to differentiate which which fruit owns the A, all right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graples, so, I can see that. I don't uh, yeah. It's like uh opals and bonobos. Uh Sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I've I've only had one uh, grapele, and I didn't care for it too much. Yeah. It, it, was, it was just like a boring apple with the slight aftertaste of grape peel. It was, it was fine. I had exactly one though, so that tells you how much I. Right. No, that's like same page. See, we've we've come yeah. back to center. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me some apples and some grapes. Don't bother combining the shit together. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right. This fruit's trees are evergreen. Apples or oranges? Apples. Orange trees are evergreen. Whatever. (laughs) All right. Christopher Columbus brought the first one to America in 1493. Apples. (laughs) You silly person. It was totally oranges. All right. Uh, this fruit's trees first grew in China. Apples. <laughs> no, that'd be that'd be oranges. It takes the energy from fifty leaves to produce one of these. Apples. <laughs> Oh, finally. (laughs) All right. This is the U.S.'s fourth most popular fruit, but it produces the country's most popular juice. Overall, it's the U.S.'s fourth most popular fruit. However, it's the most, number one most popular juice. Oranges. And your final okay. question, or statement, rather. One of George Washington's hobbies was pruning his what trees? Apple trees. Because 
Because orange got, trees aren't going to go that far north. You got half of them right, and almost all of them were apple questions. <laughs> They're easier to eat. We already discussed this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, in the chat room, Deuce Gone Wild asks, who got Avengers? And I think it was Movie Party got Avengers. Um, I, I, I think so. Mm. Uh, I will tell you here in just a moment. Yes, it was, in fact, Movie Party. Um, but, but as we said before, you can go to draft.diamondclub.tv slash stream, stream team, and you will see uh, who has what movies. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. So, um, I don't want to talk about oranges anymore. Okay. Let's um, just like, talk like, apples. Like said, they're, they're not, they're not real easy to eat. They're kind of a pain to walk down the sidewalk. Plus them, they're so. just better when they're juiced. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, there's, so let, you know, there's just, another question for you. Juice yeah. on the sliding scale from no pulp to practically mud. Where do oh. you lie? Oh man. See, I think it depends on the day and the time of day. What? Uh, no. For, for, bre- for breakfast, I am no pulp. Absolute zero pulp if I'm eating or drinking orange juice for breakfast. But like if, I, if it's like mid-afternoon and I'm like, oh, man, I could go for some orange juice. Dude, give me like three quarters fucking pulp. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to chew that shit. <laughs> so is it? it's not Minute Maid. I don't think it's it's one of those other companies. Um, they have like no pulp and then, uh, home style and then something else. And the last one is Grove stand. I'm all Grove stand. I want all the pulp. I want it to be like, I literally just squeezed the damn thing and it's just there. Like that's, that's how I like it. Um, I had to teach you, you, you peeled it and then just kind of threw it into a glass and just like stabbed it with a fork a couple times and then drank it. I, I mean, forks optional. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the, and and i had to teach the family to to drink orange juice with pulp because none of them liked it they were like why is all this chunky stuff in there it's because it's part of the fucking orange <laughs> yeah um, would you drink pulpy uh pul- pulpy apple juice i've had pulpy apple juice really yeah it's pretty good okay yeah it's I'll, that'd be the sliding scale between an apple and like the shitty apple juice from concentrate that you get somewhere, you know, <laughs> yeah, apple butter's in there somewhere with a little cinnamon in it. Um, yeah, <laughs> bad, 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 we, bad we doesn't Richie like uh, doesn't like pulp apparently. He doesn't like uh, uh, g- gelatinous masses in his mouth. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, he he says, "What is wrong with you two? I may have to unsubscribe." <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. This, oh, that, that wouldn't be the worst thing we've been through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, if if our pulp preference offends you, <laughs> oh, just, just go back to some of our early episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Felony crime. <laughs> um, okay, oh, so uh, oranges, they didn't have an, a, an event this week, so they're off the charts. Uh, let's talk apples instead. Yeah, man. So uh, they had a little little thing. You know, they wanted to like, you know, hey, yep, we're we're still around as a company, and that was kind of it, right? Like they just, um... well, they kind of did that last week because Monday they they introduced updated iPads and iPad Minis, but now with pencil support, the old pencil, but still with pencil support. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On Tuesday they updated the iMac line, I think it was, and then on Wednesday they introduced iPod uh, AirPods with uh, the new case that's. Uh, of conductive charging or whatever inductive Mm -hmm. charging. So last week they kind of had a little, little pre spill. Um, And then Monday they came out and said, uh, we got a Apple TV plus we got news plus we got Apple arcade and Apple card. And everybody went, they actually announced something. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're just going to, we're going to run through these real quick. I just want to describe what they are and uh, talk about like, Basically, what it is. Let's describe what it is, and then say whether or not we're getting it and why. Okay, Sounds and, good. Um, I'm just because I'm really curious about like where you land on on uh, some of this stuff, man. All right, so Apple TV Plus. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know we knew that Apple was planning a streaming service for years. Oh, I don't know, eight years or something. Yeah. <laughs> I've been talking about it. I don't know. It's been a very long time. Uh, Brian Brushwood will tell you it's going to be great. And he's been saying that for a long time. Um, and it, so it might be. It, yeah. So, th- so they announced it. 
All right. So Apple TV Plus is part in part an upgrade to their TVOS app. Mm-hmm. Um, Specifically, is, the channels uh, uh, bar. Section. Yeah. So basically, what it is. So right now, the way the way the TV app works in TVOS is that it will keep track of the shows that you're watching. And it'll tell you when a new episode is out, when um, you know your favorite yep. team is playing, things like that. And, and it integrates <laughs> with uh, it integrates with HBO. It integrates with several like CBS and uh, yep. uh, Fox. Uh, you know some of those other Hulu, ones. Uh, Tubi it yeah. even it integrates with Tubi. So like you just click it from your TV app, and it will open up. So like if, it, if I'm watching a movie on Tubi, right, it'll show up in my or a, a TV show in Tubi. It'll show up in my TV app as you know continue watching. Mm-hmm. So I'll, you know I click that, and it will switch me over to the TV app mm-hmm. and continue playing the movie, which is actually really cool. But the new, the new version of the TV app is going to stay in the TV app. It's not going to open another app. It's just going to stream right there. So that's, uh, you know, okay. So it's streamlining the, the TV app. Mm-hmm. Um, to me, I think the biggest announcement here was that they're going to have a premium, uh, uh, streaming TV service. Right. Um, they announced some really big names: Steven Spielberg, Oprah Winfrey, Jennifer Aniston, like a whole bunch of people. J.J. Abrams. Uh, honestly, of all the names they announced, Oprah has me most excited. Yeah, I, I never really. Uh, so I, I've always been a big Oprah fan. I thought Oprah was just amazing at doing what she does. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she went to the magazine world when she t- retired her show, and it didn't. I, I've read a few, and it just really didn't. Quir- it didn't. It didn't fit with me. It seemed not as You're mass the target appeal. audience. <laughs> Well, I'm not the target audience for the show either, but I always enjoyed watching Oprah on TV. Right, so, I got you. Um, yeah. You're also it, a, the, one of your favorite TV shows of all time is The Golden Girls. Right. Yeah. You were definitely not the target audience for that either, especially when you were eight years old. Right. Um, it was Punky Brewster and Golden Girls. Uh, I don't understand the problem. And um, yeah, but I'm I'm excited to see her back into TV because she's done some some televised or some videoed uh, interviews and things like that, and she's just. She owns the camera. Like she, that's just her world. She can get yeah. emotion out of people. She can get them to tell stories. She can uncover things without being an, an investigative reporter. She can really just deep dive into into an issue, and I love that about her. And for her to return to TV, even if it is on a premium, this is more exciting to me about Apple TV Plus or whatever they're going to call it, the Channels Plus or whatever, um, mm-hmm. than Star Trek Discovery was for CBS. Sure, sure. So, right. so I take it you're going to subscribe when it comes out. Probably not. <laughs> oh man, see, it, yeah, it's it's too early for me to tell. I don't know. I'm kind of a sucker for um, streaming services. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll definitely do the free trial. Yeah, I pretty much guarantee that, and we'll see how it goes. I there's rumors that they're going to do bundles, um, kind of like how Amazon Prime does yep. with like HBO well, and there's... Stars. There's rumors, according to the Wall Street Journal, that the HBO and Showtime and Stars are going to be nine dollars ninety nine cents a month, which is cheaper than the base price that you can get. Yeah. Um, Apple will be subsidizing those if you go through them, apparently. But for me, because what the, the kicker here is that you don't just subscribe to like you can go into this app and subscribe to CBS and you can subscribe to whatever else without having to like authenticate. Like you can actually get a, a genuine subscription to the other services. Mm-hmm. I have an HD home run for that. We have a few shows that record directly to the Plex, and that's kind of all that we need. But this would be interesting, um, barring the fact that we are already authenticated, in a way. Uh, it really depends on on what they're offering and what the prices are and how it competes with other similar services, such as YouTube TV, which may right. or may not be going away. And... Um, uh, uh, the PlayStation View and things like that. So, I'm interested. I'm interested in it, but I don't know that there's enough out there on the networks for me to subscribe to. Because right now, the only cable I pay for um, out of pocket is HBO, and that's just for Game of Thrones. Mm. Well, Game of Thrones in, in uh, last night. This yeah, last night this week. But whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I, jury's out for me. I, I got to see what pricing looks like and what else is offered and exactly how it integrates. Yeah. Um, this might be a good replacement way to like kill off some of the um, things that I'm subscribed to now if they're bundled and I can get them for cheap. Mm-hmm. And or even if I can get them for the same price, this might be the way to go because maybe it's more convenient to watch it the way that 
Apple's going to have to set yeah. up. So I, I don't know. We'll one, see what one key thing about this that we're, we haven't mentioned yet is that this is not going to be an Apple TV hardware exclusive. This is going to be wrapped up That's in cool. um, in in TVs, uh, smart TVs. It's going to be yeah, on the, be on the Roku's the Fire Stick, uh, Fire or at least the yep. Fire Box. I don't know about the Fire Stick, but uh, so, so this is Apple actually branching out into a full fledged service, not just something special for Apple folks. Yep, and uh, <laughs> let's move on to the next one. This one will be exclusive to Apple folks. Right. Yeah. The rest of these, I think, are are just Apple ecosystem. Uh, so starting with Apple News Plus, uh, we've already got Apple News. Yeah, I use the shit out of it. It's a it's an aggregator. Um, big fan. Um, I use the hell out of Google News and Apple News. Mm. It helps me to get a well rounded uh, view of news stories that are out there. Um, I get so like, for example, political news. Uh, it's real easy for people to get sucked into one particular ecosystem uh echo chamber right like if you're a fox news person that's all you consume is fox news and you become this like well let's just say fox news robot i'm not going to go into what i think of (laughs) people that exclusively do fox news uh but the same thing goes with like if you're an msnbc person like you get you're basically the opposite type of robot right Mm -hmm. um i read articles from from both of those plus politico and CNN and yep. I mean you name it I read articles like every night this kind of my my nightly ritual for like 30 or 45 minutes uh, before I go to bed I, that's that's what I do I just kind of get caught up I, I also read like you know entertainment news and mm-hmm. um, you know just world news just different things that are going on in the world uh, and it serves me very very well and it's a free it's a free service I mean you can Anybody can actually use Apple News, just not in the app. You can just go to like news.apple.com, I think, mm-hmm. uh, just like you can with Google News. Just go to news.google.com. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan and advocate of news aggregators. I think everyone should use them. Uh, what about you? Do you do you use Apple News now? Uh, I do, and unlike you, I use it kind of as my only aggregator. Because okay. I've curated my list where I get a little bit of everything from all the different sides, and it's just one place I can go, and I don't have to worry about going to multiple locations. When uh, mm-hmm. when I was working at my desk, Bing would pop up, and that was the default search engine, and the default page for that search engine was the Bing news page. So sometimes I'd, I'd view that just because it was there. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, Apple News is pretty much my only news aggregator, and I do keep a tepid mind on what's in there. So if there's anything that's repeating too much or if I'm only catching so much of the left side, I'm not getting enough of the rip opinions from the right, that kind of thing, then I will uh, adjust my my preferences accordingly. But yeah, I, I only use Apple News. Okay, right on. So um, Apple News Plus is going to be Apple News mm-hmm. Plus uh, premium subscriptions too. So like if you go to New York Times in Apple News, which you can do, mm-hmm. You get to about uh, two, three articles, and you hit a paywall. Yes. Is, oh, you 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 hit your limit. If you want to keep reading New York Times articles, you're going to have to give us some money. Yes. Um, Apple News Plus is going to make that cheap and easy. Yep. Um, I do, did they did they drop a price? I don't remember if they dropped a price for that because it, it is available now. So I, I'm assuming that they did. Apple News Plus is nine dollars ninety nine cents a month, including family sharing. Um, All right. Yep. But it does come with some caveats. Mm-hmm. It includes National Geographic and all these other magazines, the New York Times, the LA Times, um, several other things like that. However, it doesn't include all of the New York Times. It's selections from the New York Times. So you don't get any business news and you don't get any of their special stuff. Uh, LA Times, I think, is the same way, but I'm not sure. And like National Geographic, you won't get some of the more headline well, articles. It says the full magazine, but that's just how it's presented. You may not get actual all of the well, magazine. Well, see, what, what I had read is that they don't present you with with all of the content right there. Like you can't, it's not like virtually flipping through the newspaper or the magazine, uh, but you can still access the content if you look for it. Yeah. It's and just presented to you. That may not be the case, especially with the New York Times, because for them, I know specifically the business news is not included. Yeah, uh, but there are quite a few magazines in here, though. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just I'm looking at uh, Apple's page right now. So uh, Billboard, Bon Appetit, Car and Driver, um, Esquire, Essence, uh, Fast yep. Company, Vogue. 
um, and many, many, many others. You already mentioned National Geographic. There's a ton of them in here. But, um, but let's get down to the real brass tacks, though. I mean, are you willing to pay $9.99 a month for you and your family on, their, on your family sharing to peruse not just the news, but also this extended content uh, of magazines and... Um, oh, uh, Sports Illustrated is another one. Yeah. Is, is uh, that worth it to you? Uh, to me? Yeah. No. no. Definitely not. No. Uh, I'm not paying 10 bucks to uh, subscribe to things that I might read mm. one article yeah. or two. But I probably I can probably access that anyway without hitting the paywall. So I read a lot of news. I read a lot of I read a lot of a lot of things. Um, but I just I don't like my plate's already full of things yeah. to read. So I don't uh, I don't think this is gonna be worth it for me. I, I can see it being absolutely worth it to somebody that's subscribed to Sports Illustrated and Car and Driver and um, let's say the L.A. Times. Right. Yep. You all right there. You automatically just save money by signing up for this instead. Yep. So I, I think it's it's absolutely worth it to some people, just not for me. Yeah, I'm kind of in, kind of in the same boat. I So the free trial is pretty nice. I do like it. I'm going to go and peruse it some more. It, I forgot how awesome I thought National Geographic was, um, which is kind of, I'm kind of like the, the demographic for this service because, well, I like that kind of shit. But I don't know if it's worth paying 10 bucks. And I'm the only person in the house that reads any kind of news or, or magazines or anything, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I also love National Geographic. Um, I don't deep dive in it like I used to, like when I'd be at the, the doctor's office for my kids. <laughs> but uh, there are occasionally articles in my Apple yeah. News feed now for free. That, now, um, if, if certain magazines were included, like Scientific American and a few other uh, higher profile and higher interest items to me, then it becomes more intriguing. Uh, I can see the service growing to include some of those, and then it might be worthwhile. So. Yeah, so Apple Arcade. Uh, people, I, I wrote in here, people tired of ads while playing mobile games and don't mind play, paying a monthly fee for game service. Uh, this is really aimed at uh, Nintendo, uh, Sony, and Microsoft and their game services and being able to play unlimited games for you know a, a certain fee per month or whatever. That's That's what this is aimed for. Is this something that is going to knock your socks off? Probably not. It's, it's a bunch of mobile games on your phone or your iPad that you can play uh, without ads and without uh, buy-ups and shit like that. It's going to be the full game. There's not going to be upsell. Yep. Well, and you can play in, you can play these games on not just your mobile devices, but also on tvOS mm -hmm. and on your Mac. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, and you can play them offline. I mean, this this is for what it is. It's a pretty full-fledged service. Yep, I think it's really cool. Uh, not getting it though. <laughs> this would not be, this is another one of those things. I, I think it's really cool for the audience for it. Uh, yeah. I'm not it. I play a couple of stupid little, uh, free mobile games mm -hmm. in my spare time. I, that that's it. And that's all I need. I am game satisfied with, with that. My, so. my habits are a little more erratic. I have a uh, gamer ADD. So, I have like 15 free mobile games and every time there's an ad, it, it annoys me. So I swipe off at it and go mm -hmm. to a different one. Um, this might be worth it to me because I have so many people and, and especially the number of kids that I have on my family plan. It really depends on the price and what their initial offerings are because if they come out with some, it, it says it's going to be all new content, brand new game, exclusive games, all this other stuff. That doesn't mean they're going to be good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing that there's going to be some some diamonds in the rough. There's going to be some, you know, eh, I mean, okay, this one's kind of throwaway. Mm -hmm. This one's really good. There's probably going to be some award-winning games in this. Yeah. Uh, not all of them, of course, but like, you know, two or three games are probably going to be very good. Um, I, oh, I have a hack for you. If you, don't, if you like playing these free mobile games, mm -hmm. but you don't want ads. Just go to airplane mode. Exactly. Go to airplane mode or what I used to do is back when I had a data cap on yeah. my on my um, on my on my phone service, I would tell I would go into my settings and I would tell the app you're not allowed to use data. So whenever I was not on Wi-Fi, I noticed that I never, ever got ads. So that, that yep. made me realize it has to have an Internet connection. So if I want to play a game and not get ads. 
pop on over to, to airplane mode and yep. ta da! <laughs> yeah. Uh, a couple of them get smart about that. They're like, oh, we need an internet connection to uh, to properly uh, uh, measure you again. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, uh, yep. no, you don't. Uh, you just got deleted from my phone. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> so that's Apple Arcade. The final thing, the final offering that mm-hmm. Apple had for us was mm-hmm. Apple Card. Mm hmm. Apple Card, a credit card done the Apple way. <laughs> yes. It's a titanium uh, they card. They up with MasterCard and Goldman Sachs. Yep. Goldman Sachs is a huge bank that has never issued a credit card before. Um, uh, although they are at least uh, mostly, uh, I don't say mostly, they are, they are at least uh, uh, m- Minimally responsible for the, the the economic crash of 2008 with uh, mortgages, but I mean, small they stuff, were right? one of they were one of about 12 organizations. But that, I uh, mean, it's just it's just a small thing. But you know, I don't know who's holding grudges. Th- these uh, that's 10 years ago. Yeah, but that was that was all of that was all of Wall Street though. That was uh, yeah. So you see, anyway, you see Wells right, Fargo so- uh, CEO is resigning. Uh, who's is? See uh, Wells Fargo after their their. They were stealing from their clients and stuff. Yeah, that's. Uh, yep. Fuck I mean, he's going to get a golden parachute of like $50 billion, so it doesn't matter. Oh, of course. Of course. Yep. All right. So, anyway, Apple Card. Apple Card. Um, so, what you can do is you can buy things with your phone. You mm-hmm. don't need a physical card. You mm-hmm. can buy things with your phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait a minute. I, I already have that on my iPhone. It's called Apple Pay. Called Apple Pay. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So why why do I want this? Hmm. The thing that got me about this card, the thing that made me interested was first of all the the novelty of having a titanium card in your pocket. Not that it would go in my pocket, I would never take it anywhere, but whatever. Uh it looks sleek as hell, no numbers and no name on it and shit. Um but I mean that kind of I mean, how do you know if, anyway? No, it has your name. It has your name. And that's oh, it. that's right. That's it. Uh no C V V or expiration date. And yeah, no there number. are no numbers at all anywhere yeah. on this card. Um, I no late fees, no over limit fees, and no. Uh, you get three percent cash back for um, Apple Store purchases, two percent mm-hmm. if you use Apple Pay with it, one percent if you use the card. So you're always getting some cash back. Okay, the cash back doesn't mean as much to me as miles do because I can actually use those. But it does pay you the cash back immediately, like that day. So that's that's kind of a bonus. You get like basically, ta- you know, some some of your tax back on anything that you buy. Um, I like all that. I like the fact that it will uh, uh, show you where you purchase stuff. So it de- it'll use uh, 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 in AI to figure out those little codes on your credit card transactions and, and pinpoint exactly where it was and what time you bought it and all that kind of stuff. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's got a low interest rate, right? A low interest rate? I mean, uh, okay. I mean, my credit card, because I had to check this today for research for this segment. Uh, my interest rate is lower than Apple's lowest offering. Right. Not by much, though. No. But still... Uh, we, uh, so it's going to, it's going to go between like 1364 and 2184, something like that. It's, it's the top end is pretty high. It's yeah, it's between. So actually I can pull this up right now. The only place this is published by Apple is the fine print at the very bottom of the page, the, the, like, uh, Apple card, uh, information page. It's in the very small print at the bottom. Mm-hmm. So their their APRs range from thirteen point two four percent to twenty four point two four percent. Okay. So the average in the U.S. is like fourteen and a half percent. So technically yeah. speaking, their low end is lower than the average. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So for the record, I'm getting a thirteen point one something. So it's just below this. Okay. Um, and this is variable rate, so this is going to ebb and flow with the um, with the, uh, the 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 treasury. So uh, yeah, with the with the prime rate. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was trying to think of. Um, that that sucks. However, if I'm going to go in and buy a two thousand dollar computer, I'm going to buy it from Apple because no one else is going to have it really any cheaper than Apple will. 
and mm-hmm. getting a three percent discount on a two thousand dollar computer is like four dollars. So I'm totally gonna do that. <laughs> All right, man. So what I like about this card is well, the physical card, like you said, mm-hmm. there are no numbers anything on this. So if mm-hmm. you drop this somewhere, I mean if you just well, I mean, if you drop it, you're just gonna if you lose the card, you're gonna disable it, right? Right. So nobody's gonna be able to use it anyway. Which you can do in app, by the way. Right, which I can do that with my USA card as well. Mm-hmm. Right. But my thing is, if I if I leave my credit card somewhere, like you know, when, like when you go to a bar and you have to, you know, like oh, leave the tab open. Like some of the bars keep your card. Mm-hmm. Like that's a target for for theft, right? Like people can just copy down the numbers. They yeah. don't even need your card. They can give you the card back, but they wrote down your numbers. They can buy whatever they want on Amazon. Yep. Right. But but this card, no nobody can do anything with it. Like oh. Um, I guess um, Kent has an Apple card. Yeah. <laughs> like that's it, right? Uh, thank you, Parking Dog, uh, for the follow. Um, yeah. So, uh, security-wise, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but anywhere that I'm going to use Apple Pay, obviously, I'm not going to use a card. So it's kind of like, okay, whatever. Um, the interest rate thing, I already explained that I, I already have a lower interest rate. But also something that you should know about me is I have not paid interest on revolving credit in i i don't know years like years so many years that i cannot even remember how many years mm. uh, because i all i use the shit out of my credit card but i pay the statement balance every single month mm-hmm. i use my credit card instead of my debit card but i basically just transfer money to it right each month to it, it, it adds a layer of of insulation between the the people that have your card and the account that the money is actually coming yes. out of Absolutely. That plus I get cash back right now. Here's where Apple's kind of got me because I get 1% cash back on all purchases. Mm -hmm. 1% on all purchases. So Apple automatically has it beat because the lowest that you're ever going to get for anything from the Apple card is 1%. Yeah. And and, and they're not paying this 1% to 3% cash back off a whim. This is all advertising. If you go to an Apple store, you get 3%, right? And then, so they're getting your money either way. They're just giving you a small right. discount for using their card. If yep. you use Apple Pay somewhere, you're getting 2%, which mm-hmm. means you're showing how good Apple Pay is with your phone. So it's advertising. And right. then if you use the card itself, you're still getting 1% because you're showing how good it is by using the card. This is all just advertising right off for them. That's all it is. Oh, totally. It's, you know, I, I think it's going to be good for Apple. I think certain people are going to love this card. In fact, um, I was thinking earlier today that I might actually suggest this to my son as his first credit card. Mm. Uh, we, cause we've been talking for the last couple of weeks now, we've been talking about him getting a credit card mm-hmm. and, um, uh, basically I'm, you know, teaching him about cards and how they work and revolving credit and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Feel right? free to put him on the phone with me and tell him, don't do what uncle Amos did. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's one of the things we talk about is, is debt and, and um, you know, getting yourself in trouble with interest and everything else. And I think this card would be good for him, especially in the way that it um, kind of coaches you. It's, it, 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 the app built in to Apple Pay, which I actually I'm interested if this is going to be part of Apple Pay without getting the Apple card, the way that it um, kind of coaches you through your transaction history of like, okay, all right, man, you've yeah. been going to the bar and spending $300 every night. Like you might want to like, yeah, not do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So my, my thing with it is, am I going to get it? Yes. Will I keep it? I don't know, but I'm at least going to get the little titanium card with my name engraved on it. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Just, I don't know. This is the one for me that I, 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 I really don't know, man. Um, yeah. maybe. And if I don't, maybe my son will, uh, I don't know. I'm don't, si- I'm signing up the first first chance I get, and uh, I only have two credit cards in my name, and those can easily be be de- destroyed. So it's whatever for me. Like I I don't you know. Uh, parking dog. The bank is uh, Goldman Sachs, mm-hmm. and it's uh the card is is uh, like the card service is run by Mastercard. Yep. Um. Yeah, man. So that was the uh, that was the Apple event. Yeah, uh, yeah. So Apple TV Plus, Apple News Plus, Apple Arcade, Apple Card. Uh, it was kind of a mixed bag. It was definitely an interesting announcement. There were some. There's definitely things to talk about with 
with these services uh, that are coming out. Yeah. And, and o- only News Plus is available right now. Um, Apple TV Plus is coming this summer, right? The card is coming this later this summer, and the arcade is coming this fall. So these are all pre-announcements except for the news thing. So we'll right. see how it goes. It'll be, especially with WWDC coming up uh, in June, it'll be interesting to see how that fleshes out, especially since they already upped their hardware, uh, at least you know three pieces of, four pieces of hardware. Um, WWDC is usually where they announce the uh, Mac line of hardware changes w- along with the new OS changes. So we'll see. Yep. All right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to that. I think that's yeah, about going to do it for this week, dude. It is. It is. N- nice to have you back, even though, uh, I mean, Rich was pretty awesome. But uh, I guess I'll settle for you. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I, I plan on coming back next week. I I hope you will be here as well, uh, just because I need somebody to to uh, live produce the show. Mm. So um, you know, you you seem to be okay at it most and, of the time. And, so. and, and, and post produce, uh, which I'm really, which uh, I'm I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, really good nice. at. I'm not always timely, but I'm really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So everybody, check us out in all the places. Twitch yep. TV slash ritual misery, mm-hmm. youtube.com slash ritual misery, I think, right? Yeah, but uh, at least a day after. So subscribe to us on on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts. Yep. And find Kent on Twitter at uh, RM underscore Del Noche. Yeah. Big or Bill Amos Logan. or Amos at Ethan Kane. E T H A N C A I N E. I like that. You need to like clean that up, like record it, and that could be a thing. <laughs> oh yes, and uh, of course I'm gonna go ahead and hit the closer button. Uh, and oh, where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Um, I got, I got, I, I got to figure out the stream deck. Um. <laughs> oh, by the way, Squid is not with us this evening um, as he usually is. And whenever we mention Apple, he usually says "fuck Apple." And uh, Bad Weave had to uh, cover for him. Cover for him and said, uh, Squid says, fuck Apple. Uh, I mean, uh, sometimes he says it even when he's uh, when we're not talking about Apple stuff. So, um, yeah. hey, uh, you can uh, you can find everything going on with Ritual Misery at RitualMisery.com, including Squid's new show. It's there. It's live in the feed. Uh, Squid's mixtape. Um, you can only find it on our on our website right now. So you have to subscribe to it manually because we're waiting to get the iTunes stuff until we get... Everything is sorted out with WordPress because it's a bitch right now. Um, and then uh, we are live every Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific on DiamondClub.tv and Twitch.com slash Ritual Misery. Thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music and allowing the whole internet to use your music, really. Yep. And uh, thank you for listening and or watching from Kent, from me, and from you. This has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya! Hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> R-A-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-L-Y